Hey everyone, I'm Josie Marie and thank you for watching. In this video, I thought I should take a moment and be still and sit down for a second and have a chit chat with you guys. The last time I did this, it was when I was literally moving out of my apartment in downtown Columbus. So that was March 24th and now it is June 3rd. Wow. A lot has been going on, as you can imagine, a lot of moving around. If you've seen my previous videos, you saw that I spent about a month in Zambia, had some adventures there. I did go to Detroit, but I didn't cover that. It was a work thing. And I also went to Washington, D.C., which you'll be seeing soon. So I've been moving around quite a bit. So I thought before I packed up again and left, I should sit down and really like just sit with some of the things that, that's been going on and catch up with you guys and also share some of the things that I've learned uh, so far about being a nomad or about myself while I'm trying to be a nomad, right? I don't have it all figured out. And it's been an incredibly fulfilling, exciting journey full of adventure, but it's also been heavy, right? <laughs> and moments has been heavy. I've gotten a little emotional here and there. So I just wanted to chat with you guys about some things that I've learned about myself specifically so far since being a nomad. Before we get into that, let's talk about the elephant in the room. It's the red hair. This is definitely something that is outside my comfort zone. If you guys are connected with me on Instagram, you see my hairstyles are pretty. I never do this color is what I'm saying. And in the spirit of stepping outside of our comfort zones, uh, main concept has hooked me up with this hairstyle and I wanna shout them out and tell you a little bit more about them. So this is from the 3X Caribbean collection. This is a 3X Island Curl, 20 inches, and this is a color T1B BUG. And yeah, I when I first got this package, I was like, oh my God, what are you guys doing to me? This is not gonna look good on me. What in the world am I gonna do? But I turned it on and it's growing on me. Like it's summertime. It's warm out there. We're stepping outside of our comfort zones. Like, why not? Anyway, so if you wanna check them out, make sure you guys go to mainconcept.com. You can also follow them on Instagram. I've worked with them in the past a few times and they're just so wonderful to work with. All their styles, I always get so many compliments on them. So make sure you check them out. It's a crochet style. I just braided my own natural hair back, parted it in some ways, and I just crocheted it while watching a movie. It was so easy. So make sure you check them out. Thank you again, Main Concept, for this look. Now, off to some of the things that I've learned about myself being a nomad, things, right? I realize, and I'm trying to practice being more simple when it comes to like material things, right? I've never been a super materialistic person. Like I've never been a person who's so much into brands and things like that. But I just remember in my old apartment, I had acquired and accumulated so much stuff that even moving out gave me such anxiety. When I was living in New York before, I was pretty light. Cause in New York, you have some roommates usually. And even when I didn't have roommates, I didn't have so much stuff. And I think when I moved to Columbus during the pandemic in 2020, I maybe just spent a lot of time buying things to fill the space in which I was occupying to make me feel better or something. But ever since I've left a lot of that stuff behind and I'm literally traveling around with two suitcases and a handbag, I really consider like, why did I need all that stuff? If you guys know me, you know I'm in love with plants and I have my plants here that I'm actually at my sister's house right now and she is holding on to some of my plants. I love plants, they're living things, we need to take care of them. They're good for the environment, they're good for us. I'm gonna say all that right now. But I had this crazy attachment to my plants, whereas they were like my children. And now like I see them, they're doing okay, better than I expected actually. But I, I don't have this deep feeling about being attached as I was before to them or anything else that I have. I don't know, so that's one thing. Um, my attachment to things is definitely kind of taking a chill pill. And I hope to be more minimalistic in a way. Uh, and that's gonna be a journey, right? I'm not gonna be there right away, but I'm just now realizing how much stuff we don't need really. You know, if you have the most important things, you, you don't need to accumulate so much stuff. And I think this is crazy coming from a person who is in marketing, but whatever. Another thing that I learned about myself is that I 
whenever I go to these new places, visit new countries, visit new towns, I tend to create these bonds and relationships with people. I love, like I genuinely love people. And my favorite kind of people to meet when I am traveling are the locals. And I think I get a bit attached. <laughs> and um, so it makes leaving very difficult. I miss all the people that I've met and have had debates with about, you know, worldly things or simple things and people I've shared meals with, people I've went dancing with, people who have told me their stories. I miss all of them. I actually keep in touch with as many of them as I can on WhatsApp. It gets harder and harder each time I go to a place and meet people, make connections and then have to leave. So I, I mentioned that I will be going to Europe I don't know what to expect there. I don't know anyone where I'm going, but I'm sure I will leave with friends and I know it's gonna be hard for me to leave. Another thing that I've learned about myself during this nomad journey is I need rest. <laughs> you know, even right now, I am actually a little sick and I'm pulling myself together because first of all, I've already booked my tickets to go to Europe. I've booked my Airbnb for the first week and there's no way I can get my money back. I, I tried because I realized that I've been on the go so much that my body is actually crying for rest. I My immune system was kind of shutting down. Um, I was just like out of it. But which reminds me that when I'm going to these different places to really take time to, yes, explore, meet people, but also take time to rest your body. Have it get comfortable in the new setting. I feel like I've just been going and getting, like I'm like, I have energy, I'm good to go. <laughs> Y'all, so that's one thing that I'm definitely going to implement as I go into the next location. Wish me luck. The last thing that I would say that I've learned about myself is that I do want to settle down. <laughs> like this moving around a lot. It can be fun and adventurous as I mentioned. I really embarked on this journey with my heart, eyes, mind very open. And I'm still open because obviously I'm going somewhere else tomorrow. But I do know that it is important for me to have a home base, to lay my roots down somewhere. And that is something that I'm gonna be looking to do very soon. That could mean, you know, checking out more cities to figure out exactly where it is I would love to live. When I was in Washington, D.C., that's one of the things that I was doing. I felt like I could move there in the Silver Springs, Maryland area. So I definitely need to do that. I feel like that stability is very important to me. At the same time, I know adventure has to be a part of my life. So I need to be in a place that can allow that. This whole experience has really been fun, but it's also been a lot of like self-discovery and um, you know, has given me some insights as to what I need to edit in my life, what I need to amplify in my life. And I'm so grateful for this. Literally, if anyone has an opportunity to embark on a journey like this, especially as we're working remotely, I would highly recommend it because it is really a personal development journey that you know, when I'm old and gray, I know I will look back and say, oh my God, I'm so glad I did that. Another thing, you know, I find it difficult to have conversations with people <laughs> when I'm visiting different places and they're like, oh, so where do you live? I don't live anywhere. And that sometimes can turn people off. They're like, oh my God, you're like, you're weird because this is such a weird thing that I'm doing for sure. And I understand that, but it gets so bizarre having to explain what it is that I'm doing. So that conversation kind of gets a little uncomfortable sometimes. Another thing is the fact that I'm a nomad and I'm a woman and I'm traveling solo. People don't understand that concept. I've literally had someone ask me, oh, what are you gonna do in this place? And I'm like, I'm just gonna go check it out. And they're like, are you gonna go by yourself for real? And I said, yeah, of course. There's so many female solo travelers out there. And he literally said, I find that hard to believe. And my response was, so you're calling me a liar? Like, <laughs> I think it's, I mean, it's fair that this is a foreign concept to some people, but I do sometimes feel judged by it. Sometimes it gets a little much and I just have to like shrug it off and go about my way. So yeah, all in all, it's been a real great adventure. What I have to do now is go pack. I'm leaving tomorrow and I have nothing packed. I was actually initially looking to 
pack just one bag and one suitcase and go to Europe and like figure it out. But because I've been sick these past few days, it's been impossible for me to find the time to actually do that and be conscious about what I'm selecting to put in my luggage to travel with. So I'm, I don't know, my packing is probably gonna be a little messy, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. I do need to get my essentials. I need to get those vitamins and I'm gonna actually be making a dinner with my sister and some friends as I spend my last day here before I keep it moving. I wanna thank you all so much again for sticking with me in this journey. I know some of you guys are looking at me like I'm crazy. It's okay. I know it's a little bit crazy, but thanks for, you know, joining me on this journey. I love hearing your comments down below on some of the videos that I've had, um, especially the video that I had about the food that I ate in Zambia. Some of you guys were trashing me about one particular dish <laughs> and i get it it was it was it was pretty it was not common but i love hearing from you guys about these things and see what people like out there and what they don't like and what they think i'm crazy for and what they relate with me on so please do make sure you subscribe you comment and please share some nomad tips and tricks if you have any i would love to hear that with that said i really do have to go and get to packing i appreciate you guys so much and until next time, I'm Josie Marie.